so today we are in the second part of chapter number 7 now before i teach you anything uh, i would just like to clarify one thing that you may be finding uh, this thing boring or nonsense or useless right okay i do agree with you but this course is not designed by me or my school it is designed by the gujarat education board and that is why i am teaching you fine i also can understand that we all use uh, windows at our house and our offices and everywhere nobody uses ubuntu but god knows why the author of the textbook has taken ubuntu into the course uh fine so today we are going to discuss about the places menu now in uh, windows we call it my computer or computer only computer right so this thing is the same thing from here we can uh, access the different things which are there in the hard disk this menu as you can see here allows you to access various storage devices in your computer as well as on other connected computers now from that first is the home folder home folder opens the currently logged in users home directory in the notilius file browser so i click on home browser so it will open the currently logged in users home directory and this browser which is open right now is known as notilius file browser this browser has been described in detail in the next chapter fine i close this thing then in places next thing is desktop desktop opens the users desktop folder in the notilius file browser now at present there is nothing lying on my desktop now this is also a stupid menu hopeless thing now whatever is there on the desktop obviously you can see here there there is no need to open the desktop menu separately right but uh, this operating system is great so they have given this thing so it opens the desktop folder in the notilius file browser this is a folder inside the user's home directory any file placed here is displayed on the user desktop and uh, any file placed graphically on user desktop lands up here then comes documents this is again a folder inside the user's home directory meant for storing user's personal doc- document that is word or excel or access files you can store in documents menu then comes music and this folder inside the user's home directory can be used to store the music files while well, same way pictures then this folder inside the user's home directory can be used to store pictures whatever photos you click in your mobile phone or camera you can store it inside this folder same way videos this is also the folder inside the user's home directory and can be used to store the video files then comes downloads files downloaded from the internet are automatically saved inside this folder if required this setting can be changed easily fine then comes computer computer dis- uh, displays like my computer of uh, windows the different partitions of the hard disk this thing is displayed here then next thing is uh, network what is network it shows all the other computers that is uh, running ubuntu or windows operating system on the same network now if your uh, computers are connected with each other through networking then it shows you the other computer if uh, sharing is enabled on some of these computers one can easily copy or transfer files to one and from those computers then comes connect to server this option can be used to connect to a variety of powerful servers running any unix like or windows operating system large organizations use server computers to provide common services to all the computers of the network 
then comes search for files this option can be used for a file of to search for a file by their name when the user forgets forgets uh, in which directory or in which folder he has saved the file he can use this option then comes recent documents okay recent documents shows a list of files opened recently from here one can reopen a recently used file quickly without having to navigate the directory structure this facility is also useful in the case where one forgets where one has saved a recently used file when one has uh, multiple versions of the same file in different directories and wants to open the latest version then comes bookmarks and uh, bookmarks uh, should be displayed here according to your textbook but uh, in my computer it is not there then uh, removable devices and discovered partitions this is also not there in my computer fine now we come to system menu system menu is like uh, say control panel this menu as you can see here allows the user to customize one's ubuntu uh, installation and uh, carry out system administration this menu has two sub menus namely preferences and administration it also has three other options see first one is preferences and administration now about me now in preferences first we'll see the preferences menu about me allows the currently logged in user to view the more uh, view and modify their profile or personal information for example i have logged in into student if i want to insert my information here okay then i can open this about me menu and provide my information it is a useless thing why to provide all this information then appearance it allows the user to change the desktop background image then also uh, which is also known as wallpaper then uh, set the default font i will open this and show you instead of just speaking see from here you can change the appearance the different appearances are given different backgrounds are not given here or given yeah from here you can set different uh, background then you can change the fonts from here you can give any visual effects right these all things are possible from this menu now apart from the built in themes more themes are available online there is a tab for visual effects here three levels of visual effects are provided known as none depending uh, none normal and extra now the default is none now depending on the graphics capability of your system the other two options may or may not be permitted setting a higher level enables a wider range of 2d and 3d visual effects fine i close this menu now now we come to the next menu of preferences and that is assistive technology it provides special program and settings to help the physically challenged people to use the computer then the next thing is the main menu from system preferences the next thing is the main menu i will have to look for the main menu as it is given in the textbook yeah these all things are there bluetooth uh, broadcast uh, cast preferences keyboard keyboard shortcuts but these are not included in the explanation according to the textbook straight away we come to the main menu so what is main menu this option allows us to decide which item appears in the in the menus 
and which items do not user with little more knowledge can also add or modify more items now see there is a tick mark here that which which items are already included if you want to include anything more then you can put a tick mark and add that item here or from here also you can add then comes uh, the next thing is uh, messaging which is not to be explained then comes monitors now uh, this option can be used to set monitor options particularly the display resolution number of pixels in a row and the column or of such rows these all things could be set from here in windows we give a right click on the desktop and we set the screen resolution am i right but uh, here the process is long like this we have to do then next uh, thing is mouse preferences so from here you get the options to set uh, the properties of the mouse such as pointer speed drag and drop double click time out this all things could be set from here then comes the next thing and that is network connections and uh, network proxy these two things so this option allows us to set a network setting then comes personal file sharing only if network is there you can share the file then comes power management now this is used to set up the options to conserve power and help the save environment that is put off the computer to sleep when it is inactive for then you can set from here after 10 minutes 30 minutes whatever then put uh, display to sleep mode after 30 minutes 1 minute whatever that you can set from here so power management is used to set uh, the options that conserve power this options cause the computer to turn off display or go to hibernate or sleep mode when not used for a certain duration you can also decide the action to be taken when a computer is running on battery backup like uh, say a laptop computer running on battery or a desktop computer running on ups and the battery backup is uh, critically low then you can do the settings from here then comes the next thing and that is uh, preferred application okay what is preferred application let's you to choose your favorite applications for common internet and multimedia tasks for example if you want to start web browser then which is your favorite or which is your default web browser mozilla or google chrome whatever that you can set from here considering that uh, there are many choices of applications for common task in linux this menu item allows you to specify your preferences then comes remote desktop where is remote desktop here <coughs> it allows you to share your desktop with someone else for example a computer repairer is not able to come to my house to repair my computer then i am able to share my desktop and from there you will be able to locate the program whatever is there and will be able to repair the thing now when you share your desktop with someone both you and that user see your desktop at the same time on a continuously updated basis when any one of you moves the mouse or press a key the effect will be seen by both this facility may a facility as many user uh, like uh, allowing a worker to work on office computer from home that is work from home allowing a technician to take control of a user's computer by for trouble shooting and for solving problems and providing training uh, through the live demonstration on computer operations this all thing of course appropriate security measures are present to prevent the unauthorized access to your computer then comes the 
screen saver okay from here you can uh, set up the screen saver different uh, beautiful screen savers are given now screen saver is an application that uh, springs into action when the user does not perform any action for a certain duration generally it displays a constantly changing image on the screen the original idea was to frequently change the display to prevent the permanent damage of the olden days monitor caused by the display of a bright bright pixel for an extended period of time even though modern monitors do not suffer from this problems screen saver are still used for their visual appearance to break the monitor is a uh, monotony and to draw the user's attention to the used computer you can set this thing from here fine then next thing in the preference menu is sound okay now sound menu allows the user to set the volume level as well as other sound input or output related options then comes startup applications so startup application controls which applications are automatically started when the computer starts if you find that your computer takes too long to boot you may check your startup uh, applications and remove those that you do not uh, want to use but you need to be careful not to turn off some essential services <coughs> fine then the next thing is ubuntu one uh, ubuntu one is a canonical cloud that is internet storage solution it allows you to purchase music and store your files on canonical server computers you may access them anywhere in the world from any ubuntu computer provided you are having a internet connection it is a cloud storage thing <coughs> then the last menu option is windows now windows let you set some basic uh, options regarding the behavior of application windows in particular you may choose what action should be taken when the double click when you double click the title bar of a window the possibilities include maximizing the window minimizing the window maximizing the window vertically so that it occupies the full screen height but its width is not changed maximizing the window horizontally so that it occupies the full screen width but the height is not changed so these all things you can set from here so this video we keep till here in system i have taught you till preferences from in the next video we will continue with the next thing that is administration menu